This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the BYD Octo 3. Oh, oh. I'm going to review this uh, car. Yeah, only problem is that the steering wheel is on the right side with the wrong side. Should be on the left side with the right side. But okay, anyway, this video is not about the Octo 3. It's about BMW i4 M50 and the throttling. So let me explain what it is. We're not talking about the power throttling when you hammer it on the Autobahn. That's a different story, but we're talking about the charging throttling. So recently I took the BMW i4 on a road trip across Europe-ish, well, northern part of Europe at least, uh, from Oslo to around Neumunster back again. It was roughly 2,000 kilometers. And um, during that trip, I noticed that the car started throttling on the charging speed. So this is actually written in the manual. It, it works as designed. Some people might claim that, oh, there's something wrong with the charger or there's something wrong with the press car, low coolant. <laughs> no, there's actually nothing wrong with the car because, uh, spoiler alert, the throttling did go away eventually. Uh, by the way, before I did the trip, I actually, the road trip you saw, I actually drove a distance south and then I had some problems with some camera equipment. I had to drive back home. And when I came back, I started with 100% initially, yeah, in the afternoon, but then I had to go back home for some really important charging equipment for the camera. And then I started the trip, but when I came home, I had 50% and then I charged to roughly 75%. So I already did do, did some DC charging before I started the trip. And that seems to actually make the, the case slightly worse because not only did I not start with 100%, but I also did some DC charging before the actual trip started. But then we started the trip, okay, and you guys saw the, the story. It was charging really fast, 210 kilowatt, 207 kilowatt, boom, 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 every time. The charging sessions were only 15, 20 minutes long. I barely had time to eat before I had to hammer it for the next one. Uh, but it was also um, uh, getting kind of winter-ish, uh, so not the best uh, driving condition. And the, the car was a little bit thirsty. I hammered it where I could because I felt like, you know, I was late. So I was trying to catch up on the, the delay. Uh, but then after f five, six charging sessions at the Nyborg, I started seeing some weird behavior that the car did not take 100, uh, 200 kilowatt anymore. It was taking around 150 kilowatt. I was like, hmm, that's a little bit weird. But is there something wrong with the charger? No, the tritium chargers that Ionity uses, they are binary. They are on, they are, they are either, either on or off. Either they work or they don't work. Yeah, many times they don't work. <laughs> no, but, so there is no middle there, except for some really rare cases I've heard in Arvdal a couple of years ago during COVID time. Yes, there was one tritium charger that only delivered 70 kilowatt. That's why there was so much Ladestau over there. But uh, that means that this is car limited. So we can rule out those, those other uh, theories. No, it, it's actually the car that limits it. And even it, it says in the manual. Uh, so after that Nuburg session with 150 kilowatt uh, semi-slow speed, then suddenly and the next one at uh, Rode Kru and also the following one at Bustorp, it was like, I plugged in 100 kilowatt only. But then after just at 45%, 46%, boom, it dropped to only 45, uh, 50 kilowatt. Yeah, and then it dropped even more. So I don't remember, but I think at around 70%, it was taking around 40 kilowatt only. So it took forever. You have no idea, man, how much time I spent. Like th those tests you guys saw when I hammered it and stuff, I had to charge prior to those tests and I had to charge for about one and a half hours to reach 95, 99%. It was going dog slow. We're talking about almost double the charging time here versus when it's not throttle. So it was kind of painful, but I needed to sleep anyway, nap on the way back, so no big deal for me. But uh, also when I was almost home at uh, Strömstad, we tried this theory. There were some uh, followers uh, at the live stream. They said that if you AC charge, you might reset the, the, the timer or something, the, the, yeah, the cool down. So I tried that, but it didn't help. So, but maybe it was not long enough. I'm not sure. I just plug it in, charge a little bit, unplug. Yeah. So that didn't help. And then when I came home, I tried to ch charge again. It was still throttling. And then I just let the car sit in the garage overnight. And I think after around 10, 12 hours, I tried again near my home. Uh, I also preheated the battery so it, it was hot enough. I checked uh, OBD tool, everything, and it was, it was preheating the battery. So the battery should be hot enough. Still the same, 100 kilowatt. So I was like, hmm. And then I took the Arctic, I, I went to Arctic Circle with the ID bus meanwhile, and I think I was gone for about uh, 48 hours, something like that. So the car managed to sit still 
not charge actually i didn't even charge on ac it didn't, didn't matter but i just left the car a low battery but i heated up the garage so it was probably around uh, 20 degrees 25 degrees celsius in the garage and also the battery after a while when it came back and when i tried to charge again it was an alpetronic um, at least that one deli should deliver 150 kilowatt i did get 150 kilowatt on the same car without doing anything so seems like uh, someone claimed that uh, the, the, the cool down time is 24 hours. And this is not a unique case. If you actually read the comments, several people also had the exact same problem. And also during the live stream, some people, they checked the forums, the i4 forums, and the same problem. Many people had the same problem, but I guess this is not common knowledge about this. I didn't know about this. I just learned it. And then why did it not occur when I did the 1000 kilometer challenge? I already did 1000 kilometer challenge with the m50 and also the e-drive 40 the rear wheel drive maybe because back then the software was not updated because the software seems to have changed when i did the, the charging session with the m50 earlier this year in february it had a nicer and flatter curve but when i did the e-drive 40 which is more efficient i couldn't really set a better time because the charging curve has changed it was charging slightly less aggressive maybe the bmw engineers figured out that scheisse we are we are uh, the battery will be kaput if we keep doing this so they had to throttle down a little bit and then maybe they introduced this throttling thing um so after I had that, okay, to, uh, the, the 150 kilowatt charging session, I guess if I had faster charging, like I owned it nearby, but they didn't bother, I would probably get 210 kilowatt. But I tried to unplug and then replug again and unplug to see if it counts number of charging sessions because actually this is not something unique. Um, the Japanese cars, they do something similar. The, the Toyota B set, has also this uh, feature where if you DC fast charge too much in one day, you will get reduced charging speed. It will be even slower. I mean, it's already charging kind of slow. Audia has a similar feature. Audia, by the way, does not charge at 130 kilowatt. I've never seen 130 before, but at least Audia, in the beginning, you can get 115 kilowatt on the big battery, the 87 kilowatt hour. But I believe that it's only two charging sessions. You only get two DC sessions with a maximum 115 kilowatt. And then after that one, it becomes 90 kilowatt flat. But on the other hand, the Audio is 90 kilowatt flat to 85%. It's actually flatter than if you have the 115 kilowatt wave and then it kind of drops a bit. So for Audio's case, it's actually faster with a throttle speed if you're going to 90%. But of course, if you're going to only 50, 60%, then the, the 115 kilowatt wave is faster, slightly faster. So it's not really that, that big of a deal for the Aria, but for the i4, I feel like you get roughly half the speed, so it's quite bad. And then how can you avoid this? Well, I guess you can avoid DC fast charging too much. You can avoid hammering because the faster you drive, the more juice you spend and the more juice you have to fill up. Uh, also, if you have longer stops where you can AC charge, then it also helps because it seems like I've tested this now uh, and I have some indications that it's not count based unlike maybe the Toyota or Aria. This seems to be kilowatt hour based and based on the range uh, on the on the one thousand on the road trip it could seem like uh, after 200 250 kilowatt hour has been input into the battery then you are in the throttle state and then to get out of the throttle state seems like you have to avoid uh, DC fast charging for 24 hour. I'm not sure maybe an, a full AC charging session or maybe a significant AC charging session will bring the car out of the throttle state. I haven't, I, unfortunately I didn't have time to test all this, but um, yeah, hopefully there are ways to kind of get out of the throttle state because if you have to wait 24 hours before you can DC fast charge again, then that becomes a little bit cumbersome because um, for most cases, okay, you will never hit this and 99.9% .9 of the people will not encounter this problem. But I mean, think about this. People in the forum already mentioned it. People in the comment section already mentioned it. They, they, all, they hit this, this uh, problem. So which means that there are cases where you will actually discover or you will, you will encounter this, this throttling. So, but you can avoid it by not driving too fast. Yeah, I'm now, and I'm now um, recommending that if you buy a BMW i4 M50 or E-Drive 40, you pay a lot of money 
and then you should try to limit the speed to around 120 kilometers per hour <laughs> because then you will need less uh, kilowatt hour charging and then the the throttling will be postponed a lot yeah uh, or you can try to get some ac like i mentioned yeah i guess that helps and then okay for my case like i mentioned I had to drive back a little bit, so kind of my starting position was already a little bit bad with 75% only, and I already maybe input um, I don't know 20 kilowatt hour. I already already used the 20 something kilowatt hour in the quota. So, but yeah, so I'm actually not sure if you do a typical travel like you you travel I don't know a lot in one day, right? Like thousand kilometer one day, you arrive at the hotel in the evening your AC charge maybe there and then in the morning you start driving a while until you need to DC charge will that be enough time to get out of the throttle state I don't know because I haven't tested this firsthand I did not uh, investigate enough I didn't have time to investigate enough but worst case could be that once you throttle yeah it seems like um, I, I got the impression that the the the, re, the timer keep kept resetting every time you DC fast charge because from the from when I left the left home and then I did the test and then I came back home uh, it did not reset by itself but when in the case of Aria when I did 1000 kilometer challenge I did get 90 kilowatt during the 1000 kilometer challenge but towards the end I did see more than 90 kilowatts so it seems like it counts the first session and then after a while it kind of just resets but here if you keep resetting the timer then you will never get out of the throttle state in the BMW it could seem like this I don't know but I'm just telling you guys all my findings about that it doesn't seem to be uh, at least it doesn't seem to be uh, time uh, uh, counter based so you don't have to take long sessions or you can even take shorter sessions I don't know which one is better for you it seems like I'm not sure again but yeah and then what are you gonna do then but this is kind of bummer because um, other cars are not doing like this, uh, right? This is, I mean, not, not that bad at least. So Tesla is not doing it. Mercedes, Audi, uh, Porsche, they are, they are not trotting like this. They have some kind of eco, eco charge you can enable. And those eco charge settings are actually not that bad. They are, they are for conserving the battery, just like the BMW. Why do they do this? They, it, is, it is to conserve the battery so it doesn't degrade too much because I guess charging a 200 kilowatt on a 84, 85 kilowatt hour battery might not be too healthy in the long run. But I guess a little bit, just like, you know, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of alcohol doesn't kill you right away, right? <laughs> as long as you try to uh, minimize the use a little bit. So, but... Yeah, it's a bit bummer because uh, all the other cars, you can travel, like with a Tesla, for example, you can travel across Europe. I did the 24-hour the world record, just hammered at 175 kilometers per hour and a fast start, a lot during 24-hour, no throttling, no problem. And when I travel across Europe with a Tesla or even with the, with the EQC, you guys remember I went from Oslo to Frankfurt uh, with EQC, no problem. I drove it more or less like a fossil car. But with the BMW, you kind of need to drive it almost like a leaf, kind of, yeah. Okay, okay I'm going to hurt someone's feelings now, but... So, okay, maybe uh, if someone knows more about this, maybe there's a trick to get out of this throttle state. Maybe a, a, a full AC charging session, maybe it counts AC, how much AC you input, and then it will get out of the throttle state. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. So, I'm not sure, but at least I told you guys all I know, and all my findings, and then we'll see we just share the information sharing is caring but but i would also say that it's kind of rare like it's not going to happen to many people but as you guys heard it does happen people talk about this at least in the in the i4 forum and then uh, some people mention it in the in the comments so i mean it's not unique that it will happen but maybe hopefully not that common so all right i think that's going to be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.